Hello and welcome to BISPSolution.com. I'm Amit and today I'm going to show you two important parameter which you can use in aspace.configuration file. This parameter adds a great value when you load data and especially when your data quality is really poor and you're loading a high volume of data and uh, you're finding you know it is really tedious and time consuming to load such a high volume of data. You are trying to figure out various means and methods and properties to somehow speed up your data load process. So in addition to gas setting, the two parameters I am going to talk about definitely going to add a great value and it speed up your data load process. So imagine a scenario where you are loading a large volume of data. Let's say you have 100,000 records and out of 100,000 records, your 3,000 records are bad which is close to 3% right, of your all data and you have 3000 records are bad it means your data file is really bad and you need to go back and talk to your data manager and ask and request for a better quality of data. So when you reject your system reject 3000 records out of 100,000 records it takes a lot of strain and efforts to uh, you know reject all those records. I mean it makes no sense to to load the data file when you have 3000 rejects. So you should put some threshold value sub upper limit so when you once your data load data error reaches to certain value I mean further data load process should be terminated or stopped or your system should stop recording those Azure records. So there's a property which you can set in the aspace.configuration called data load data error limit this property takes a numeric number of records to be written into your error log file. So after this, the information is just the further rejected records are not captured or not written to your uh, log file. So the default value is 1000 maximum could be 65,000. There's another parameter you can use along with your data error limit as the name indicate no message logging on data error limit. So this parameters basically talk about control with the data load or dimension build error are written to the application. Logged after after limit described it by your data error limit is reached. So this is a boolean parameter which is true and false. We'll see this live how to achieve this. First we understand the property and the and the behavior of these two parameters. When you use this parameter true, it prevents data load or dimension build error from being written to your application log file. And as I said, the more you write information to application log file, the more time it takes. So it makes sense to uh, record only those information which make, you know, uh, I mean, you record only those information in log file which you, which you really need for analysis. And false, it does not prevent message logging based on data error limit and this is basically a default. So let's see this before adding up this parameter after adding up this parameter what benefit do we get. Okay. So we've been using the same financial cube which I shown you in the previous many classes. We built the entire ASO cube step by step in our previous sessions. So the data load process I'll be using simple data load process. For the sake of simplicity first I clear all data because I don't want to carry forward any existing value and I have two instance of my data one has error and one doesn't have error so we'll use this which doesn't have error under I've got data load and um, ASO data load and I'll take two data one without error and one with error. Okay, let's load data without error. I'm more concerned about the time it takes to load data. So I'm going to load data. It's a fairly straightforward data load. There's no transformation I use so that we can actually calculate the time it takes to data load process and eliminate any eliminate uh, any additional transformation process. So it's a one-to-one -one data load. So I load the data file with no rejects. We'll cap the time. Okay, I got some reject over here. 
actually I use the data file which did not have reject let me check what it has okay so there are some some records which has which is error probably I choose a wrong data file let me try to do it again I change my data file to data 56 and I'm going to overwrite the value right the data got loaded successfully and the time taken as you can see I'll take a snapshot of it so that we can compare exactly the time taken by different data load process this is my data load for data file which has no error and this is a perfect world situation perfect world scenario when there is no data at all so you see the time taken 1.032 seconds there are naturally there are different other parameter also contribute to this and next what I'm going to do it I clear all this value data I'm going to load it again and this time I'm going to load data with um, with lot of rejects and the default parameter I set over here there are two parameters which we discuss data load error limit and no message logging on data error limit which is set to false and false means does not prevent error message it means your system will write everything into your log file and because the parameters are really high and the kind of data file I've chosen it has high number of rejects this is my data file if you like to view it uh, this is my data file okay and it has got more than 100,000 records and at least I'll get 50, 60,000 rejects. Okay. This data file and outline you can download directly from my shared location. Now let's load this data and test what happens if you have large number of rejects. I'll take the data file, data with error, and my rule file remains same. No change in the rule file. I'll use 100% resources. And uh, Probably I can overwrite the existing data and I run it. Let's see what does it do. So I got a warning message and you see um, the data load had taken 1.022 second and I got large number of rejects because I removed threshold values or I set threshold values very high. Uh, it was close to 100,000 number of rejected records and number of rejected records in my case it's less than 100,000 at these many rejects right you see the huge number of rejects in in the real world scenario if had I have such many rejects I would rather go back to my data owner and say because there's something major something seriously wrong with the data and we are supposed to get a new data file so as you see there are large number of rejects and the time taken is really high as well so So we'll compare. So when data got loaded successfully, it took 1.032 second. When you have a large number of reject, it took 1.022 second, right? So I'll probably put it over here next to each other. This is what I wanted to compare. Okay. rest we can leave perfect now what I'm going to do I'm going to set these two parameter try again close go to my parameter detail file and set this parameter you can change the parameter value under aspects.cfg file alternatively you can change from here I'm going to change this parameter data error limit from some hundred thousand to only 10 just for the sake of testing and um, I don't want to record any further error message the moment system reaches to threshold of 10 I apply this as you know after making changes to sb.cfc file you need to stop and start your sb services so I'm going to stop my service and I start my services it takes few seconds stopped and start services 
then I'm going to load it again and I prefer to clear all data and load it again right click the process of data loading continue to be same no change so it takes some time to clear all data because my session got expired when I stopped and start data load clear is done let's load it again right click load data point data file data file is same rule file also same fairly simple point to point data load resource uses is 100 and because it's empty record whatever parameter you select it makes no difference I got a warning message but this time you see if you observe carefully this log file you find the data error limit which is set to 10 you can see over here rejected record continue will not be log will not be logged any further reject record will no longer be logged anymore and the time you take is indeed less in data load process so these are some basic parameter and option which really adds a great value in your performance uh, so knowing these parameter values or these granular detail of your space configuration file uh, turns out to be a big plus. So I cannot accommodate it over here. I'll accommodate over here. I'll put it over here and then we compare. So the moral of the story, as you see, when your data file has large number of rejects and you know that these rejects have some severe issue or serious issue in your data file there's absolutely no fun no benefit in loading data with these many rejects because on one hand every data load takes a lot of time and it, it makes no sense to the business users so it's good idea to take this set this two parameter data error limit which define number of records to be captured right so when you look at your log file now you find a product as base ES you find only 10 records are captured there's no further records are captured as space um, that's hypn product as space ES and client you would see now there are only 10 records unlike in previous example we have a large number of records because only 10 records are captured in a log file and system does not capture any further detail in application log file the data load process took 0 0.951 second compared to your 1.022 second it been explicit to the 5% of performance gain right this is vivid absolutely visible there's a five percent in performance gain at least approx okay so these are two basic parameters you can use while data load process and that's a great value especially kind of cube you're using ASO which is high volume of data thanks for joining today's session and stay tuned with BISP video YouTube channel and you get a lot of new videos and uh, detail about different products in high PN and data analytics. Thanks for joining today's call. Have a great day.